All right, first graders, we're gonna continue working with our digraphs. Remember, a digraph is two letters coming together to make one sound. The digraphs we're working with are OA and OW. And we know that OA and OW make the long O sound. So we hear that first letter making saying its name, but we do not hear the second letter. They both sound like O. Now we know that OW can also sound like OW, like in cow and how, but today we're focusing on the sound that it makes with the O sound. So OA and OW. We're gonna get warmed up with some rhyming. I want you to rhyme with me on the word coach. So I want you to think about words that rhyme with coach. They'll need to have that same word family. So think of about two or three words that rhyme with coach. Okay, Rally, Robin, back and forth, words that rhyme with coach. Coach, roach, poach. All right, nice job, good words that rhyme. We are going to see what they look like on text because I want you to see exactly what is the same in a rhyming word. So I have the word coach and I have the word roach. Now their beginning sounds are not the same, but they do have the same word families. What family do you see in the same in coach and roach? The oach family, very good. All right, we are going to look at some phoneme deletion. Phoneme is a sound, deletion is when we take something away. So we're gonna start with deleting that beginning sound. Say blow, say blow, segment blow, b, u, o. Say blow without the b, low. Good, say show, say show, segment show, sh, o. Say show without the beginning sound. Oh, very good. Say crow. Say crow. Say crow without the beginning sound. Row. Okay, we're going to delete the ending sound this time. Say bowl. Say bowl. Segment bowl. B O U. We're going to say bowl without the O. Bow. Say coast, say coast, segment coast, k o s t. Say coast without the ending sound. Coast, good. Say road, say road, say road without the ending sound. Row. All right, now we're gonna change some of the sounds in the word. Say grow. Say grow, change the g in grow to th throw. Say coach, say coach, change the o in coach to a. Ah. Catch, say goes, say goes, change the s in goes to t. Goat, very good. All right, we're going to look at our sounds. I've got blends, digraphs, and diphthongs all mixed together for our practice. If we know the chunks of sounds, we can read those sounds in new words. So I say, you say, sl, kr, sm, tr, ow or o, st, th or th, a, pull, cool, sp, o, e, oi, u or a, dr, a, e, sh, w. Oi. All right, this time you're gonna say them with me, so we're gonna go a little bit faster. Here we go. Sl, cr, sm, tr, ow, or o, st, th, or th, a, pull, cool, sp, o, e, oi, 
U or U, D, R, A, E, Sh, W, Ch, K, Oi. All right, nice job. Now we're gonna do a little bit of practice with um, the spelling rule. We know that O A comes at the beginning or middle of the sound uh, sounds in the word, like in oats or toast. O W usually comes at the end. There are a couple of exceptions, but most of the time the O W will be only at the end of the word. Okay, so we're gonna do a few uh, on each side, and then we're gonna practice some say it, slide it, write it. Okay, the first word we're going to build. I'm gonna write the letters. You give me the sounds. Sounds. Sound. Whole word. Blow, nice job. Next one. Oh, I'm gonna add that over here. Because you see the OW at the end of the word, that's why I chose the OW, because it's at the end. Very good, next one. We have sound, sound, sound. Whole word, poach. Very good. I use O-A because it's in the middle of the word. Very good. Next one. Sound. 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 Whole word. Throw. Very good. And the O sound is at the end. So I use O-W. Very good. Next one. Sound. Sound. Sounds, whole word, roast, very good. And the O sound was in the middle, so I used O-A. All right, so now I want you to have some practice. So you are going to need the supplies for say it, slide it, write it. You will need some sound chips. You don't need any more than five. You can use Cheez-Its, you can use pennies, you can use dimes, you can use erasers. It's your choice, something small. If you don't have those sound chips, you need to pause and go find something to use. You'll also need a marker and a whiteboard or a pencil and paper. So if you don't have your supplies ready, pause the video, go grab what you need. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first word that we're going to segment is the word slow. Break it with me. S -o -o. Slow. S -o -o. Tap the sound that made the O sound. Where was the O sound? Beginning, middle, or end? At the end. And if it's at the end, we're gonna use which digraph? O W. So let's build slow. S O O. Nice job. All right, your next one. Move your sound chips back up. The next one we're going to break apart is the word toad. T O D. Now, touch the sound that made the O sound. Which chip made the O sound? T O D. Was it at the beginning, middle, or end? Middle. And if the O sounds in the middle, which one do we use? O-A, let's build it. T -O -D. If we were to code them, now we don't usually code them when we build the words, we code them if we're trying to read the word, but if you would put it at the end, you'd put your uh, line under it that helps me know that it's a digraph, Two letters coming together to make one sound. We give it the long macron O, and we cross out the letter we do not hear. Same on this side. A line to show that it's only one sound. We have the macron to make it the long O sound, and we do not hear the second letter. Okay? This time, I'm going to not draw it out for you first. I want to see how you do choosing O-A or O-W. The word is show. Break it with me. Sh. O. Think about where the O sound is and build it. All right, are you ready to show? Show me your board in three, two, one. Does yours look like mine? I chose O-W because it's at the end of the word. 
All right, last one. I want you to try this one again on your own. The word is boast. Break apart boast. B O S T. Now build the word boast. Think about where the O sound is. Decide if you need O A or O W. Boast. Okay, ready to show in three, two, one. I used OA because it is in the middle of my word, boast. Boast means to brag. So if you're bragging about how awesome it is that something that you have to someone else, that's boasting and it's usually not a good thing to do because it only dips in buckets. All right, nice job, erase, erase. Now I'm gonna have you go ahead and answer some questions about OA and OW, and then you will be reading a passage with me and I will pick out some sight words and some words to preview um, after you're finished with your OA and OW practice.